When did I get so distracted? It's like my words don't match my actions. I lose my clarity, but I'll get back to me in no time. Three dots and no reply. Feeling like a social suicide. But when I clear my mind, it's kind of nice here in the quiet. Why I always got to be perfect. Sometimes I go, I try to make everything so perfect. But it's not, and it's cool. Because it's real when it's true. Yeah, how high is high enough? How far is far enough? How much is too much? When is enough enough? How rich is rich enough? How strong is strong enough? I'm scared of losing touch. So when is enough enough? These are lyrics from one of my current favorite artists, Sam Henshaw's song, Enough. It speaks directly to where my mind state is currently. I can say unequivocally that I have been blessed. I mean, so much good stuff has happened. So much that has happened in my life has been objectively great. I have the support of two amazing parents growing up and even now. I have amazing, awesome siblings that have been supportive in everything. I graduated from college debt free. I have a job that I actually like what I do. Plus, my coworkers are actually fun and I have a boss who actually cares about me. I bought a house in one of the craziest times to be a home buyer. I'm in the best physical shape of my life. My brother is currently living with me and it's been awesome. I have good relationships with my parents. I have an awesome relationship with my siblings. I have great friends. I have an awesome church that has an awesome support system for me. I can afford almost everything that I need, even despite the crazy inflation that is going on right now. I could keep going, but I think you get the point. Sure, things haven't exactly gone according to plan all the time. Like losing one of the most important people to me and one of the people I love the most in this world. I still miss him so much. Uncle T, you'll forever be in our hearts. But generally, I thank God. But even knowing all that, for some reason recently, I've been feeling this sense of dread and lack. Now, part of it is due to my emergency fund being depleted by this house I bought. Excuse me as I step on my soapbox real quick to say... A house is not an investment. However, it is a natural feeling when your emergency fund is no longer there because it is a safety net. When it's not in place, it feels like I'm on a boat in the middle of the ocean without a life vest. I mean, I'm fine, but anything can happen, you know? But it's more than that. It's more a feeling of inadequacy where I just feel like I'm behind and I'm not making any progress even though I can see the progress I've made. Something to know about me is I'm very goal-driven and oriented. And as much as I like to push away from it and deflect it and say things like, as long as I'm heading in the right direction, in my heart of hearts, I know I want to hit quantifiable metrics. But the problem is life isn't about metrics. There's no real quantifiable way to say, yeah, I've done this, therefore I've made it. Even if we wanted to use metrics, which one do I go by? Do I go by net worth? Do I go by work position? Do I go by relationships? Do I go by businesses built? Do I go by social media numbers? Do I go by just fill in the blank with the thing that we use to compare ourselves to others? But I guess that's the crux of it. Comparison. It's kind of ironic because regularly I talk to people about focusing on their own journeys. To never allow comparison steal their joy. To celebrate the little victories in what they have accomplished. But yet, this is the one thing that I struggle with the most. Maybe that's why it's easy for me to talk to others about it. I don't know if this feeling will ever leave. But I'll keep pressing on. Questioning myself about it. Because although it might be unhealthy in some aspect, it also can be good. Getting that right balance of enjoying each moment as it happens. And also chasing the next things. Side note, happy 28th birthday to me. Woohoo.